What's up, Butterfly Gang? Welcome back to another Butterfly Message. I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. Let's get right on into it. It's been a lot happening. <laughs> It's been a lot going on. But let's get into it. What messages do we have? What messages do we have? Be mindful that these messages are timeless. Back in action. He's back. Back in action. Somebody, you could be running into somebody, um, somebody who's been gone, like they're back in action, like they're back active, whether that's active social and on social media, you could be active. Somebody's also very snappy. I've been dealing with this very snappy attitude for the last couple of days too. Um, <clears throat> somebody's very open-minded, okay? Um, somebody's judging somebody off past experiences. Somebody's looking stupid. Oh my God, when I look good, I feel good. Spoken like a true Libra. When I look good, I feel good. Spoken like a true Libra. There's also an important message in your dreams. And this, give less energy to the ops. Second that. Somebody is not sexually active. Oh, no. That new love feeling. Somebody has that new love feeling, but it doesn't have anything to do with sex. Somebody just got, somebody could, like, have a crush. Like... Somebody could really have a crush. <clears throat> Go into the butterfly messages. The OGs. But give less energy to the ops. Some of you guys are giving too much energy to your naysayers. To the people in your life who don't want you to win. Some of you guys are giving too much. You put too much energy in those relationships. And those things, and it's like, stop. Somebody talks really fast. Somebody's a goody two shoes, and there's an unknown journey. Fast talking goody two shoes. For the streets, why do this keep popping out for y'all? I'm about to take this card out. <laughs> somebody's for the streets, somebody's for everybody. Period. Period. Somebody's for everybody. Let me hear it. Wow, this was out of the blue. A good conversation. Wow. Somebody didn't expect to have a conversation with somebody. Or they didn't expect the conversation to actually be good, a good one. They just knew that this conversation was going to be bad. But up. Uh, surprise. God works in mysterious ways. You got, when I say I'm good, trust me, I'm good. <sighs> Let's say when I'm good, I'm good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. You got secure and happy. Let's get one more. Let's get one. Somebody takes a lot of pictures. Somebody's taking a lot of pictures because they're happy. They're happy. At the bottom of the deck, you got the trumpet sound. And at the top of the deck, you got divine feminine. Love creation. You're getting some type of gift. Something's yours. Because you, you created this thing. 
you're creating something, you're pushing something out, and you're going to get exactly what it is that you're desiring from a situation. You're manifested. You've manifested it. Now it's yours. <clears throat> You've manifested. Not only did you manifest it, you nurtured it. Now it's yours. For somebody. Hopefully that's resonating with somebody. If it is, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. All right. I wanted to go into my everyday witch. I just got excited because I, I just remembered that I took this deck out for this reading. <clears throat> And it's been a long time since I've been in this little deck. Okay. Let's get some. Get some more sage butter. A real look at this fire. Mm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's get tell me more about back in action. For Libra. Tell me more about back in action for Libra. Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody's popped out again. Sun. You got the sun. Somebody's popped out having fun. Like they're back in action. They're balanced. They're back popping out. They're back having fun. Okay. Um, their confidence is back. Somebody got their mojo back. <laughs> their confidence is back, but they're back in action. Somebody's also happy again. Somebody is also healed. That signifies healed. But it's like this new type of energy. It's like you're getting back to you. Got this moon. I'm figuring, I'm thinking that somebody has been like out of the public eye for a while and now they pop back up or somebody has been gone. Now they pop back up. Somebody could also be like returning home or something. But I do feel like this is good energy here, especially with the temperance at the bottom of the deck and with the magician at the top of the deck. All major arcana, healing, balance. Um, Somebody could also be popping up ready to reconcile or ready to... to um make a peaceful solution or resolution. Um, also feel like somebody's popping up very, very, very confident and very fiery, like with their light on shine, okay? Tell me more about very snappy. Tell me more about very snappy. There's a high priestess that's very snappy, or there could be a tarot reader or someone that's very snappy. Um, it looks like there's somebody who you're about to walk away from. Somebody is very, very snappy, and you're about to walk away from them. I feel like somebody wants you to stay, stay, blah. somebody wants you to stay strapped. Um, why can I say it? That's, that's probably why they don't want you to know. Somebody wants you to stay trapped in your current situation. This person, it could be very snappy with you. Three of Swords. This person could be doing some type of magic. Somebody fears that if you leave them, that you are actually going to find your 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 Ten of Cups. So they they know that. Tell me more. They actually see you doing that. They actually see themselves being some type of um, obstacle in your journey. What is 
<clears throat> yeah. It looks like this person wants to create some type of chaos. This person could be could be creating some type of chaos in your relationship. Be mindful of who you go talk to. Um, but this person could be creating some type of chaos in your relationship. Like a lot of things could be going wrong once you started talking to this person. This person is very, very rude. Or it could be a person that you started watching or something. This person is very, very rude. Tell me more about very open-minded. <clears throat> okay, so something is happening behind someone's back or there's lies. There could be um, mistrust, betrayal, things like that. Yeah, with the five of wands, but somebody is still very, very trusting of a person. They still don't want to know. They still want to be very honorable and very balanced and very fair and very open-minded. Even when these people have not been that way to you. And I feel like even though like you you're you're having this face on like you're open minded and you're okay with it, what's it, what's it, what's this doing to your energy? Is this making you guarded, way more guarded? <clears throat> what else? There's something you need to say. There's something that you need to say. Yeah, there's something that you need to say. There's a need for you to go find your peace. There's a, there, there's a need for you to get yourself out of this situation and stop being open-minded. There's a need for you to close this chapter. <clears throat> but now you're holding on to it. You're stuck afraid to move and you see these people doing these wrong things but you're calling it open minding it when actually this is just poor poor spiritual <clears throat> poor spiritual maintenance And you could be calling it, I'm just open-minded, I'm open to it. You're being lied to and you're crying at night. Okay? And you know, you, you know they are. But things are going to change soon. Things are going to change. Tell me more about um, judging them off the past experiences. Um, there could be people you work with or new opportunities that you're working with. There's some type of sub, sub um, support system that you're judging from the past. <clears throat> yeah, judging from your past hurt from some type of past betrayal, and this is not it. There's a person, there could be a person, there could be one person that you're judging off the past, and this is this is just not it. Okay, um, this is a new beginning. Something new is prospering here, and this is not this is not based off your past, okay? Like you got the five of cups. This is not these three cups who did whatever. This is this is this this could be three. This is three new. This could be three, but the, this is a new opportunity. It's a new situation. This is not this past situation, and you're judging them off of the past situation. So you're expecting them to act like the people from your past. You're already putting that on, putting it on them. <clears throat> Whichever one reminds you of that person, you are just almost 100% sure that that person is going to act like that. And that's not the case. <clears throat> Tell me more 
about looking stupid. Tell me more about looking stupid. Who looking stupid? Whoa, a couple people looking stupid, huh? Uh, you got the four of swords coming out with the ten of cups with the queen of pentacles and the judgment card. So, someone's jealous here. Somebody's jealous. So, this is an opportunity. And this could be this person looking stupid. Somebody's jealous here, blaming themselves. Um, jealous is in a pity party. And they could be um, aiming that jealousy towards you. Okay, yeah. They could be aiming, looking at you to see what you're doing over there. And they're looking stupid. By doing that, being filled with like envy. When the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, that's not a good place for that queen. Okay, not a good place for that queen. With the judgment card in reverse, so that means that you're like victimizing yourself. Like this person could also be like starting like new things. And here you are, literally, because there's two different energies here. There's one energy that's bothered, and there's another energy that is not bothered. That's not bothered whatsoever. Like, resting, whether you're dreaming about family or you're dreaming about love, your feeling is that your feelings, your emotions are in a happy place. Whereas this energy, there's a total opposite energy here whose emotions are in a place of lack, um, negativity, taking, blaming someone. Somebody wants somebody to blame. And they're sitting back looking stupid. I'm feeling like... They're looking stupid because other people could be looking at them. You got the star at the bottom of the deck. Something could be getting illuminated. Um, also, I do feel like that the person that they're trying to blame could also be highly admired. And then you got the queen of swords in the middle of this deck. So the queen of swords may make you look stupid. Libra may, may make you look stupid if you try. Whatever, you, whatever you're trying to pull here because... That so nobody's nobody's worried about you. So the Queen of Swords is ready. Nobody's worried. Tell me more about when I look good, I feel good. Tell me more about when I look good, I feel good. Got the strength card. Here, when you look good, you feel good. That's part of your healing. Part of your healing. When you look good, you feel good. You feel you feel really good. Not just good. When you look good, you feel really good. And you know this. You know this about you. Okay. Matter of fact, look at the Queen of Swords. Like, okay. You know this about you. That when you look good, you feel good. You're a balance. Like, that may be something. Like, it's a part of your healing. It's the way that you tame. Like, so maybe you need to spend some time in the morning by making yourself look good do your hair even when you're just in the house do your hair do a little slight beat you know start sprucing your energy up i think i'm about to start doing that too like even when i'm just chilling in the house just have my hair done do a little slight beat on my face you know throw some clothes on like even if i'm not going anywhere that could be like something practice that we can do. Let's do it together. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely that can be like a step in your healing. Tell me more about an important message in your dreams. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a message you're writing in your dreams. You got this four of cups here. Some of you guys can't dream like you can't focus and there's an important message right there and you can't seem to focus because all your attention is on something else um but i feel like there's an important message and not only is there is there an important message but there is an important solution for balance for balance in your life and for collaboration there's a there's a nice yeah and i feel like there is direction to which way to go what to do there's some type of direction. 
tell me more about give less energy to the ops. I feel like we all could practice this, right? Give less energy to the ops. What messages do we have? Okay. Don't focus on them. Focus on all your focus on your desires, all your um wishes that you're trying to bring in. Don't focus on it. Stay dedicated to what you're trying to bring in. Okay. You got the three of cups. This could be the ops, okay? This could be these people um that you're looking at. Yeah. This could be these people that you're looking at. It looks like, let me get some more info. Hmm. Looks like something bad happened in the past and you okay? You wasn't touched. You wasn't really touched the way that you could have been touched. It wasn't really violated. Yeah, got the six of wands here. Um, something didn't work out. There could have also been some some jealous, some envy, or some bad things said about you. Something could have been written about you, posted about you. You got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck with the three of swords. Um, there could have been some gossip spread about you with the devil card here with the three of cups. There could have been a lot of people here, but the thing is, is that they they couldn't touch your desires. These people couldn't touch your desires. They couldn't touch none of that. So it's like, don't worry about them. Yeah, what they did, whatever. But don't worry about them. It's time for you to free yourself. You're not in that situation anymore. You don't even you don't even give off that same energy. You're not even attracting those same situations in your life. So it's like, don't give them any any energy, any energy. All right, let's get these out here okay all right let's clarify some more tell me more about an unknown journey Tell me more about an unknown journey. Unknown journey that you're going to take. This is... There's an unknown journey that you're going to take with a person. Yeah, it looks like the angels are giving this to you. Why is this ten of... Ten, ten of Ten of Wands here. What's the burden? Got this Aries. Could the burden be some type of spotlight? Does this journey involve you going into the spotlight? And that could be a lot for you. Got the Judgment card. That's exposure. That's exposure. Your true essence coming out. Um, some type of spotlight or exposure is going to be a lot on someone. It's going to be overwhelming. Maybe somebody is in the spotlight. I've been getting this too. Like some type of spotlight or something is going to be overwhelming to somebody. Maybe this person's in the spotlight or you're in the spotlight. Tell me more about Goody Two Shoes. There's a goody two shoes that's stuck in their emotions. Yeah, they're not having a good time right now. They are not having a good time right now. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, their vibe. And it's pretty low. It's pretty low. Somebody there's a goody two shoes who is vibing really, really low. Um, so there may be things that this person do. Not to not get them no accountability, but then they're, they're, they're not intentionally doing something um this person could be stepping out of their house stepping out stepping out of a relationship 
This could be a person who never probably, probably wouldn't have never cheated, but due to something going on that they're cheating. Like they're acting totally different. Yeah. Going through some type of heartbreak something like that they're doing something weird that they're, they're acting different they could be you know rebelling they could also have an unhealthy they, they could be like um being influenced by the wrong crowd too or by a wrong person tell me more about talks fast There's a person that talks fast, starts drama real, real fast. Always, always talking. Somebody's always talking. Um, could be this uh this Queen of Pentacles person that's appearing. That's appearing in the upright, but we know what it is. We already put you out here. We already know what you is. But somebody's talking fast and starting a lot of drama, like fast talking, like talking to a lot of people, starting a lot of drama. Um Something could possibly have something to do with some type of money or some type of status or reputation. Somebody could be, like, trying to ruin a reputation real, real, real fast. Tell me more. <clears throat> I got the King of Cups here. It looks like there's somebody here that's, somebody could be telling you this information, that somebody's spreading this, or this is what's going on, this is this is what I heard. Um, somebody could definitely be telling you that. This could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Libra bringing this information to you. Yeah, somebody's going to be telling you how how a person... Somebody could be talking really, really fast because somebody's not going to be telling you how one person feels. Somebody's going to be telling you how a lot of people feel. You know when you laugh and then you come back and then somebody come to you and like, let me, let me go ahead and tell you what they done said because it's like that type of energy. Yeah, somebody's going to feel stabbed in the back. Empress. The Empress gonna feel stabbed in the back tell me more about why wow, this is out of the blue why wow, this was out of the blue they say wow this is out of the blue this was out of the blue wow something something comes up some type of past rumor comes right back up. Something from the past is coming up. People are talking about the past or some type of past thing is coming up. It's feeling it's feeling like betrayal, okay? Um, it's a lot of people talking about it. Like, it's something from the past, and it's like, okay, why is people bringing this up again? <clears throat> or why is somebody bringing this up? Why is somebody trying to look into the past and expose something so long ago? Um... Yeah, something gets some type of new spark. Like it it comes back up. Tell me more about for the streets. Why the <laughs> Why is the hierophant for the streets? <laughs> Why is the hierophant for the streets? Well, it looks like somebody could be thinking you are, but you're not. There's some people that's thinking that this hierophant is for the streets, but they're not. And they all get rude awakened when they come up to them. Like, they're not. I don't know if a person is changing their ways, but you got this transition. Like, they're changing something about them. Maybe this hierophant didn't change. They're not for the streets no more. 
and people maybe the collective don't know that so somebody's gonna be um responded to this hierophant like they like they steal for the streets and they gonna get told back up yeah this hierophant don't want to be bothered they're not this is a changed man tell me more about when i say i'm good trust me i'm good yes done Moving on, hopping into the next chapter. Somebody's also taking pictures, like they're taking pictures, living, living good, living lavishly, and they are living good. Look at this. Empress energy at the bottom of the deck. They are living good with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I mean, at the top of the deck. Making good choices, making balanced decision, being balanced, dedicated, disciplined, in action on their path dedicated to their work okay tell me more about secure and happy yeah definitely secure and happy 10 10 somebody gets exactly what it is that they want um somebody also breaks out of some type of chains breaks out of some type of path and end up going end up making some type of leaps doing the necessary works work making the move moving on okay getting out of stagnation i'm feeling like these these chains represent stagnation bondage not being able to move okay um somebody secure and happy due to the the, the self-work that they did the dedication to their self-work There's a person that's upset that's taking a lot of pictures. Or somebody who just got out of the breakup taking a lot of pictures. This could be the Empress that's taking a lot of pictures. Once she got out of, I got out of, a, I got out of a breakup, but she's healing. Okay. Um, what else? This takes a lot of pictures. This person who just got out of a breakup. Yeah, somebody's grief. They're grieving. Healing, trying to heal. You got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So they're healing. They're taking a lot of pictures. They're confident. They're looking good. They could be wearing a lot of lavish clothing. They could also be traveling a lot. Somebody's traveling and taking pictures traveling, okay? Yep, they're on the move. And they're documenting it. <laughs> Definitely on the move. And they're documenting it. Documenting it, okay? Tell me more about um, good conversation. about good conversation yeah that was out of the blue remember we talked about that conversation coming out of the blue something was out of the blue that did i didn't expect to have this conversation with this person you don't know that this relationship is going to blossom into a deeper commitment but you're happy you're satisfied about this new conversation that you had it was a healing thing somebody actually could could be giving you some type of healing um information or some wisdom or some support um and that was out of the blue. Somebody was really, really helpful and real genuine, which is good, okay? So that's the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.